It's also officially monsoon season here in Korea, and the heavy downpour over the weekend certainly let its presence be felt. Typhoon Nanmadol is also making its way up north. Unfortunately, fortunately, rather, its destructive force would have been reduced considerably. Song Jisun, give us the updates. The most rain over the weekend fell in Korea's eastern alpine province of Gangwon-do, which logged more than 360 millimeters over the past three days. The heavy rainfall cut off roads and isolated campers across flooded streams, but all were rescued and there were no casualties reported. The big trees carried by the floodwaters cut off the bridge, and this morning we also lost our water supply. I barely made it out. Water was coming in from all sides, so cars couldn't get out and neither could people. Up to 150 millimeters more rain is in the forecast through Wednesday, as Typhoon Nanmador is projected to pass east of Jeju Island Tuesday morning, heading toward Japan. But the relatively small-scale typhoon will die down as it moves east. The Ministry of Public Safety and Security held an emergency meeting on Monday with related ministries and officials to check on preparations and contingency plans. Song Ji-sung, Arirang News.